Hello, I'm Dr. Gaurav Kharia. I'm the founder and director of uh, uh, Selugen Therapeutics Private Limited. Selugen, in a nutshell, is a startup which intends to come up with innovative and indigenous state-of-art cell therapy-based solutions for various human ailments, especially blood-related disorders. I would like to take you through the inception of uh, Selugen Therapeutics. By a profession, I'm a clinician and I'm a pediatric hemato-oncologist and a bone marrow transplant physician. My career spans for over more than 20 years. I have been trained in India, I have been trained abroad, but I came back to India with the intent of uh, uh, expanding the pediatric hemato-oncology services, especially the bone marrow transplant services in the country and taking it to the next level. I came back in 2014 established the transplant facility, expanded the transplant facilities. Uh, but as I was doing it, uh, there was also a thought of uh, moving to the next step and uh, bringing in the futuristic modalities, which are cell-based therapies for these disorders, for these patients who are suffering from various blood-related disorders. And that was the thought, that was the inception of Cellogen Therapeutics. I started discussing about it with some of my colleagues in 2016, met some of my very uh, brilliant uh, research colleagues uh, by the name Dr. Siva Prakash Ramalingam and Dr. Tanvir Ahmed. It was a chance meeting. Uh, I just uh, went to uh, meet Dr. Siva and discussed some aspects, but in, a in the brief meeting, I just figured out that uh, it was an instant connect and uh, the things which I was missing or the things which he was missing, we were just supplementing each other. So that was the inception of, of Cellogen Therapeutics. Subsequently, we had multiple brainstorming sessions. We tried to give it a shape uh, and try to move on and uh, work on two main uh, therapies, which is uh, CAR-T cell therapy or cell-based therapies. And also the second domain was genome editing or gene manipulation for hemoglobinopathies.